But let's focus right now on the legal battle erupting over the president's travel ban. CNN Justice correspondent Pamela Brown is following that story. And Pamela, yesterday morning, the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals upheld Judge Robart's temporary suspension of the ban. The Ninth Circuit is widely considered to be a fairly liberal circuit. It looks like this is going to end up in front of the Supreme Court. It very well could, sooner rather than later, Jake. But right now, as we speak, the Justice Department only has two more hours to file its brief with the Ninth Circuit Court. And then the world will have to just wait and see what the court decides. As this legal showdown ensues, people who were banned from entering the U.S. just a few days ago are now rushing to get in under the wire in fear of the ban going back into effect. An emotional reunion at Dulles International Airport as a Somali mother with a valid U.S. immigrant visa and her children are reunited with their father. I'm feeling very excited about my family coming to me here and living with me. Uh, it has been a very difficult week, but uh, I'm happy that it ended happily. His family was turned away from coming to the U.S. last week because of President Trump's travel ban. But Friday, a surprise window opened up when a Washington state federal judge temporarily halted the ban nationwide. We must intervene to... District Judge James Robart ruled the plaintiffs, Washington State and Minnesota, demonstrated immediate and irreparable injury from the executive order in areas of employment, education, business, family relations, and freedom to travel. That order set off an immediate chain of events around the world and prompted the president to fire off angry tweets, even attacking the judge. Quote, the opinion of this so-called judge, which essentially takes law enforcement away from our country, is ridiculous and will be overturned. And, quote, just cannot believe a judge would put our country in such peril. If something happens, blame him and the court system. Speaking to a military crowd in Tampa this afternoon, Trump was confident he'll win the court battle. You've been seeing what's been going on over the last few days. We need strong programs so that people that love us and want to love our country and will end up loving our country are allowed in not people that want to destroy us and destroy our country. But even people in Trump's own party say the system of checks and balances is working as it should. We don't have so-called judges. We don't have so-called senators. We don't have so-called presidents. Uh, we have people from three different branches of government who take an oath to uphold and defend the Constitution. We all want to try to keep terrorists out of the United States. But we can't shut down travel. Today, Department of Justice lawyers are trying to get an appeals court to reinstate the ban, arguing the president, not the courts, should be making national security decisions, in part because courts do not have access to classified information about the threat posed by terrorist organizations operating in particular nations. But 10 high-ranking former national security officials, including CIA directors and secretaries of state, have told the appeals court the ban would undermine the national security of the United States, endanger U.S. troops, and help ISIS. And the court has also heard from 97 tech companies like Google and Apple who depend on foreign-born labor and oppose this ban. So right now, all eyes are on the Ninth Circuit Court, which will decide whether or not to reinstate this ban as this appeals process moves its way through the court system. Jake. All right, Pamela Brown, thank you so much.